Seven epic climbs. These are the highest paved roads in Europe. Lying right on the border between France and Italy, the Colonnelle, or Colle dell'Agnello, is 20 kilometers long, whichever direction you tackle it from. Now, it might not be quite as famous as some of the other climbs on this list. In fact, it even had to wait until 2007 before it made a debut in a Grand Tour, when the Giro eventually passed over it on stage 12. But you don't have to wait long to see it again, keep your eyes peeled because the Giro goes over it once again this year on stage 19 as the race goes from Italy into France. The road to the town of Kaunatal and beyond leads all the way up to a ski station via 29 hairpin bends and wait for it, 38 kilometers of climbing. And cruelly, the hardest part, the steepest gradient is actually in the last three kilometers where the slope doesn't drop below 10%. One of the most iconic climbs in all of Italy, the Stelvio Pass, is notorious, not only for its altitude and for its length, but also for the quite often savage weather conditions that greet anyone who tackles it any time outside of the peak summer months, and quite often during the peak summer months as well. But nevertheless, thousands of riders do attempt it every year, many of whom during the Gran Fondo Stelvio Santini. The gradient only averages 4%, only, but those numbers are skewed by a plateau at Val d'Isere, which comes roughly halfway along this, wait for it, 48 kilometer long climb. Yes, 48 kilometers. Now the Tour de France actually had a staged start here back in 2007, a day in which the riders had to tackle not only the Isaran, but also the Telegraph and the Galibier as well. So that was probably a day that most of those riders would quite like to forget. The Col de la Bonnette tops out at over 2,800 metres and it's 24 kilometres to the top from Josier and at an average gradient of 6.6%. Having said that though, the Tour de France has only actually ever used this climb four times and the most recent one was right back in 2008. But nevertheless, this is a prestigious climb in its own right because it is the highest paved road in all of France. As the name suggests, this climb goes to a glacier and a number of ski areas. So if you are planning to tackle this 15 kilometer beast, then you should check the weather forecast and also be prepared for some pretty adverse weather conditions. The final 1.5 kilometers of this climb goes through the Rosy Mittermeier tunnel. But once you're through that, you'll be on the highest tarmac in the Eastern Alps. It may not be the highest point in the Sierra Nevada, but it is certainly the highest point that you can reach in Europe on two wheels. The climb is 43 kilometers long at 6.2% average gradient, and it starts right down in the city of Granada. There are two shorter routes to the top, but both of them have even steeper gradients. If you tackle this climb, you would definitely appreciate some wider tires because as you near the top, asphalt actually gives way to gravel roads and this climb really becomes an adventure. But all the more satisfying when you do finally reach the top. Now we are aware that there are even more epic climbs than this worldwide. So if you know of one, do make sure you let us know in the comment section down below. And if you're gonna tackle any of them, you will probably want to be able to train for long climbs which is funny because we've actually got a video showing you exactly how you can do that. If you get through to it, just by clicking up there. Or to see what we think are the top 10 climbs in the United States, why not watch that video just down there? Otherwise, subscribe to GCN, just click on me. No, you don't. Click on the globe. It's somewhere around there. It'll be fine.